Hey, thought I would do something real quick. I don't want to take too long on a tutorial right now. I've got way too much on the go. So, variable jump height. Let's do it. Let's do it like a champ. So, I have a player. They got a capsule. They have a rigid body. Uh, notice I've got continuous on because it's, it's a good thing to have so I'm not falling through shit. Uh, constraints so I don't flip over and we got a ground with a platform that's all we have very simple nothing here I'm gonna add an FS in we'll even call it jump <coughs> now if I do just a simple something like this a lot of people would probably assume that let's add a force of like 12 right and if I just finish it if I just do that and when you're starting off that's probably how you'd end up doing it I think I don't know um, I'm not getting any force. Oh, how about I change it to impulse? Impulse, much better. Right, so okay, cool. We are jumping. We got this raising physics shot. But it doesn't matter how long I push the button or how long I hold the button, we're just going to the same height. So let's let's adjust that. Let's fix that. So what I want to do is I actually want to A set velocity 2D. Uh, I don't want to, I don't care about the X, but we do care about the Y. We just want to make sure we're starting at zero. Like if you're moving downhill or you're moving uphill or whatever, it doesn't matter. We want to be able to jump the same height. So we're gonna go zero. Now the next thing I want to do. I want to say, hey, that is all I want to do this frame. I, mean, I just want to jump. That's it. You know? But then I don't want to go back here. No, sir, I don't. We want a variable height. So, <clears throat> do you adjust variable height by changing the force going upwards? You could. In some cases, you might. Instead, let's do this. Let's get the velocity uh, of going upwards. And if the velocity going upwards is, we'll say, less than, we'll say, one, then we're going to be like, uh, no more cancel. We can no longer cancel our jump height. And if that's the case, we're going to go down and just kind of wait for a ground check and then head back here. I'm not going to put a ground check in, but that's kind of... I mean, you wouldn't want to go right back there or you could just jump again. I mean, I'm just going to put it here and pretend. So, <clears throat> what is... Where's the adjustment though, right? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a get button or get key up. I want that same key, and this one's going to be, we'll say cancel jump, or we'll call it cancel. So what is cancel? Well, all we're going to do is add force going the other direction. Let's go like negative four. And you could do a little bit of math here to make it even cooler, I suppose. And then we go to our, our grounding weight so we can jump again. Right, and that's that's pretty much it. So now, if I press and hold jump, we go up and we come down. Press and hold jump, we're going up, come down to the same height all the time. 
But if I just jump it and let go. Oh, he didn't jump as high. No, no, sir, he did not. And I can hold it a little bit longer. Right? So now all of a sudden it becomes just a, uh, just a numbers game. Like how, how high. Maybe take this up to 1.5. Right? So there's like a partial jump. There's a full jump going right off the screen. Right? And I can jump, I can hold it and let go there. Right? So I can I can kind of control the height to a degree, obviously. I mean I can't get him to just hop. But I can control the jump height by doing it this way. So there we have a nice little jumping system. And we could limit the velocity going down uh, as well, which would make it look a little cooler, but that's a little more advanced. We won't get into that. But anyways, so the key things are we have a jump input. We're going to zero our velocity off, and then we're going to add our jump force. And then, <clears throat> and you could use a weight here, I suppose. Um, but for me, it's, it feels better to use a velocity because once we get below a certain velocity, we don't want to be able to let go and launch ourselves downwards. We're shooting like a rocket. Like I said, now you could put some math in here. So this, this becomes a, a variable based on your current velocity. Um, like we could say, we just get our velocity multiply it by negative one and use that as our negative <clears throat> and that would be or it should be pretty close to a coming down to a kind of halt yourself and then draw but anyways so this is kind of the basic sense right we launch ourselves and we're and if we let go of that same button Right. Remember, this is this is the very next frame because we're ending the, the first frame here. So we, when we, as soon as we let go of that button, we're going to be like, okay, hey, we let go. Let's let's counter a bit of that force that we had because obviously we, we let go early. We don't want to jump as high. And then you'd go to like some sort of ground check so you can't jump again. Anyways, short and sweet.